Techie Bytes, where we teach you how to use Windows Office programs. Today we're looking at the database function dProduct. What dProduct does is it finds the product of the items in the specified column or field in our database based on some criteria that we specify. To get started, you need a database and a criteria table. As you can see, we've got a database of people here with some of their details, as well as a criterion table above it. We've also put in two specified criteria, one being that the gender is M and that the height is greater than 10. You can write this formula by either typing in the formula directly or by using the function's dialog box from the formula tab. And we'll be showing you how to use both ways. So starting with the first way, as with all MSXL formulas, we're going to start by typing in the equal sign. Then we type in dProduct and open our parenthesis. The syntax for all database functions is database, then field, then criteria. So first we're going to select our entire database table and put in a comma. Next we'll need to choose a field column, and the items in this column are going to get multiplied. For this example we've chosen age, so we're going to click on the age column head in our database and put in a comma. Finally, we need to select our criteria table, which is what the function is looking for. If the criteria is not matched by any of the rows, that row will not be included in the product. If we press enter, we find that the answer is 300. This means that the product of the ages of all males with a height under 10 is equal to 300. We can also enter the formula by clicking on the formula tab and finding the dProduct function. This will open a dialog box where we have to select the database, the field, and the criteria just as we did before. Now, if we press OK, we get the same answer, 300. Don't forget to subscribe to Techie Bytes.